Notifications can be very useful, especially if it's something that you need to know right away. However, in Windows 11, it definitely seems to be more ads and promotional stuff rather than messages that you wanna get. In this video, I'll show you how to disable that, so let's take a look. So to do this, you're gonna to go to your Windows button at the bottom, right click on it, and then we're gonna head over to settings. So we get this window over here, and what we wanna do is go to the notifications option, which is right here, and we're gonna click on that and let it completely load up. It might take a second. Okay, and what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna scroll down a bit here. We got a lot of stuff, and we definitely wanna turn off the get tips and offer suggestions. That will take away the ads and those suggestions and the stuff that you don't really care about that just keep coming up. Now you also have the apps in here that you can actually disable independently. Like I have Skype here, I can just turn it off and Skype notifications will stop. You can go through this list and disable the notifications for very specific apps in this list, but I definitely recommend turning off the suggestions over here because those are the ones that frequently come up. The next thing that we wanna do is disable the promoted apps and suggested content. Uh, they come up in the searches, they come up in your start menu, they're all over the place. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna go over to this category over here on the left-hand side and it's called privacy and security. We're gonna select that. And under here, under Windows permissions, we have an option here called general. We're gonna click on this. And this is where all the advertising information comes in. And what we wanna do is turn everything in here off. So once you have that all done, that'll take care of the Windows notifications that come up in your start menu and also in the notification area. We're back at the desktop right now. And that's how you disable that. You can also change the specific apps like I had shown you earlier, and that's how you do it. If privacy in Windows 11 is a concern, you can check out my next video that I'll be dropping soon. And that will show you how to disable a lot of the data gathering that Microsoft is doing with Windows 11. We'll be clamping things down a bit. So that video will be coming out soon. You can check that out. I've also released videos on how to get rid of bloatware in Windows 11 and also reducing the clutter in your taskbar if that interests you. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put that in the comments below. If you're looking for other tips and tricks related to Windows 11, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.